Good morning. Today we are stopping. We're in Iron Mountain, uh, Michigan, and we're stopping at the World War II Glider and Military Museum, as well as the Cornish Pump and Mining Museum. It's the same place. So we're going to go inside and take a look. So stand by. States and uh, it's all bolted together with nuts and bolts they could bring it in in pieces and assemble it but that uh, round flywheel right there it's like 40 foot in diameter and the flywheel itself weighs hundred and sixty tons from the top of the pumping engine there down to the to the concrete floor here is 54 foot and the entire engine weighs 750 tons unbelievable and it's a steam engine it's got two cylinders a high pressure cylinder and a low pressure cylinder the uh, high pressure cylinder is 50 inches in diameter and the low pressure is 100 inches in diameter with a 120 inch stroke and it ran eight pumps the pumps were down below it and uh, this thing right here it could pump 3,400 gallons of water a minute, which turns out to be like 5 million gallons of water a day. So as they were digging this mine, the Shapin Mine in uh, Iron Mountain, the, uh, there was a swamp nearby and it would flood the mine, so they needed a pump that could handle that much water. So they had this designed and built. And you can see the flywheel. As the flywheel spins, it works that lever there. That, that yellow lever and that yellow lever goes back and it uh, works this right here this other lever and that goes up underground under the pump to work the uh, pumping arms I'll show you that because they have, they have a working model so um, I'll show you that in a second but you can see it's, uh, it's just a huge piece of equipment and to think that technology they built this back in 1890 uh, it could still work today if they needed it, but that mine's closed. Uh, it cost too, There's still a lot of iron ore in this mine, they say, but the cost of getting the iron ore, iron ore out is not worth the money it would cost to get it. But, well, here's a little working model of the uh, pump engine. This one's powered by electricity, though. That uh, little uh, belt there is going to spin the flywheel as opposed to the steam engine spin the flywheel but you can see how the the yellow mechanisms those are the moving parts there's a piston going up and down and uh, down here's the the linkages that work to the pumps they come off the flywheel and down below are the pumps and that rod goes up and down which which uh, works the eight pumps they had down below ground each of the pumps would bring the water up a little bit higher to the next next pump so that they could actually lift the water that high 1500 foot below ground uh, so there it is the Cornish pump pretty piece of pretty amazing piece of equipment even in a model it's pretty impressive 